Okay, round two. I'm back to the same place. I was up there by that maple up there earlier. Apparently when they were flying around, I was looking in the bushes here in the yard. Didn't see them, so I assumed they all went into the hive, and when I got back to the barn, they weren't in the hive. Well, they come over here and landed on the ground. Now, I found that virgin queen that only had one wing. I think they just been, he said they've been out since Sunday. So I'm thinking they've been out so long, they don't remember where their hive was. So, this time, I'm trying something different. I brought a frame of brood that I'm going to put. I got a frame of brood with a queen cell inside the hive. I don't know if I can stand you up here somehow. I don't know if you're going to be able to see anything there or not. Yeah, You probably couldn't even see any of that. I just set them bottom boards underneath it to prop them up a little bit. Oh, look at that. They're going right up in. Fantastic. This plan might work. Old Bill Crowell always said, mamas never leave their babies. Open brood would have been better. But I wanted a queen cell, and the hive I got the queen cell of didn't have any open brood because she swarmed. So, we'll check back here in a minute. All right, it's been about 10, 15 minutes. Most of them are up in there. I'm gonna call her wet, probably. A little peek in here. See, they're, they're covering all that brood. So, hopefully, we can get them all up in there. Right, I picked the hive up, set it on the inner cover, or on the inner cover, on the uh, bottom board. A bunch of them here are cold and wet. So, I've been waking them up here. You can see a bunch of them I shook on there. They're fanning and trying to tell the rest of these guys where to go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them all out of here or not. They we weren't very lively at first, but once I started scooping them up and waking up, it didn't stop raining. Scooped up one handful and took a couple of stings, but you can still see there's a stinger in my finger. Couple of them actually. I guess I'm getting a new one, I can't even feel them. Alright, guys. Run in the hive. beat at the same pace up down up down I just did a slow-mo video I'll have to see if I can even slow it down more to see but you look at that and it almost looks like they are yes,
All right, went and got you all set up here and forgot to hit the recorder. Checking on this uh, swarm I caught Thursday. Today is Monday. I peeked in on them Saturday. I thought I videotaped it to see just if they were still here. And it looked like there was about three frames of bees. You give them a frame of brood and you see in the video with the queen cell on. And they're starting to draw that one out pretty good. That's two frames from the brood. Wax foundation, let me get some static quick. It's drawn out. They're putting queen cups on it, but you don't realize they don't have a queen. They don't think. A little bit of nectar stored in it already. Drawn it out pretty good. Put a few bees on there. Looking it over good, making sure there wasn't a second queen. This one here might be emerged. So, well, so that was right there. They've already started tearing that down, so most likely I've got a virgin queen here somewhere. We'll just give her a quick look, see here. This one turns out better than the last one they had. The Virgin Queen had form wing virus. Therefore, she would have never been able to mate. Seem like really gentle bees, especially if they're being queenless. They seem pretty gentle when I was working them into the hive. We don't see her anywhere. There's quite a few bees. There's bees on the sides. See quite a few there. Seen them other two frames. It looks like it's just about the same on this side. We got a full frame of bees here. Half drawn out frame already. He ain't looking like the best of weather for the next week for her to get mated. Hopefully she flies out. Does her thing. Hopefully she's in here somewhere. not seeing her but queen bees are hard enough to find virgin queen bees especially if they're tiger stripe really hard to spot because they ain't quite as big before they mate the one that was with these guys hey posted a picture on the original video. She 
was a nice blonde one. She stuck out pretty good when I first seen her. Yeah. Let me give them a few days. I'll make sure I check them in about a week. See if she's made it. Well, I couldn't have timed that any closer pulling that mm -hmm. cell out of that hive. I think they was probably, judging by the amount of brood, they was probably getting ready to pop. Mm -hmm. Alright, let them go. Give them the benefit of the doubt that there's a queen in there. And give her a week to start laying before I have to worry about doing anything else. Maybe a couple weeks. Sometimes I've had them go six weeks from the time I put did the split to the time they got a queen made. They got to get in their cover built. Actually, this lid's borrowed too. So, I'm gonna put the brick up. Tell us to keep an eye out. All right. Thanks for watching.